Hi everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how to add the delay and echo effect on your audio files in Adobe Audition. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add the delay and the echo effect on your audio. I recorded an audio specially for this tutorial. So let's hear it and then apply the effects on. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Mo Production. So guys, now let's add the delay and the echo effect. And to do that, just go to effects the delay and echo, and then press along delay. Now let's hear the custom and you want to make sure this button right here is green so we can hear the preview set. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Mo now let's pick a preset. Let's try crazy train. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, channel. Moon Mo Production. <laughs> that sounded really awkward. So what I want you to do is to go to these presets and just pick the best for you and try them all. And now I want to show you just how to add an echo for this audio. You want to close that. Before we add the echo effect, we should have space in the end of the audio because what the echo does is to duplicate the audio wave. So to do that, I'm going to bring the timeline just right here and go to edit and insert and silence. And I just want five seconds and I will press OK. And now I can do the echo effect. So to do it, Go to Effects, Delay and Echo, and just press on Echo. And now I want you to leave it at Custom and go to these presets right here. And I want you to pick the same preset that I've done in order to duplicate this wave right here. And this effect I do a lot on promotion videos because it makes it beautiful to have an echo on the last thing that I say. So let's just hear it. Mo production. Mo production. It sounds great. So the delay time is going to be 1500 and the feedback is 20 and the echo level 30. And I want you to do it on both channel the left and the right. And now let's just hit apply. And as you guys can see, we have a duplicated wave of the audio that we highlighted. Let's hear it again. Mo production. Mo production. As you guys can see, it's very low, so I have to bring it up. So I'm going to go just right here and click and drag and just trace the level of the audio by moving this knob right here to the right. As you guys can see now the wave has changed to be bigger. Now let's just click right here and preview it. Mo production. Mo production. Mo production. So guys that is pretty much how you can add the delay and the echo effect in Adobe Audition. I hope this video helped you and I would really appreciate it if you can smash that like button for me and I will see you in the next video.